Hey everyone, welcome. In this video, I'll be trying to recreate this amazing 2D artwork made by Fago Studio. I was initially going to do this exercise for this illustration by Leland Foster, but after spending around 12 hours on it, this is how the final render came out. <sighs> you know, sometimes you spend hours on a render and it just doesn't turn out good enough. It just doesn't. You can't do anything about it. And I'm not mad about it. No, not at all. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> so I went with something a little simpler. In 3D of course, not in 2D. I can't even imagine how you'd make something like this in 2D. The illustration looked amazing when I found it on Pinterest. So I wanted to recreate it in Blender as an exercise and try to learn everything I can in the process of doing so. So this is how it went. I started by pulling in a human reference model into the scene right off the bat so I could get the scale right for everything. And I know a few people might think that it's weird to do that for a scene like this, but I'm learning more and more about how important the scale of everything is in the scene and it affects a lot of parameters when you finally render everything out. So a human reference model helps with that. Then. I pulled in some cubes to lay down the basic shapes of the pavement beside the pool. I tried giving it that rounded edge look like in the original illustration by beveling the edges of the cube after a few loop cuts. But I don't know what I was thinking there. That obviously didn't work. So I then went with the cylinder and cut it in half using the knife tool and then extruded the straight edges out to get that look. The pavement had two different types of tiles in the original artwork. So I just duplicated a face from the cylinder and extruded that out for the second tile type. Then I added a plane for the pool water and some cubes for the walls in the back. Now it was time for modeling the ladder, which I'm pretty sure looks easy enough to any intermediate blender user, but I spent a stupid amount of time trying to figure out how to do that. I first tried using curves for it, but apparently I have no idea how they work. I fiddled around with it for a few minutes and then gave up instantly. Then I tried using just vertices instead of curves, beveling them using the Ctrl Shift B shortcut to get that curvy look, and then converted them into a curve and beveled them out from the curves panel for them to look like pipes. But even that looked horrible. In the end, I just went with the cylinder and used a screw tool to get that curved look. And I'm not gonna even bother showing the amount of time I spent trying to figure out the screw tool. I don't know why I just didn't watch a tutorial and get it done with. But after 30 minutes of the screw tool screwing with my mind, I ended up with a ladder that looked decent enough. Then I added some more cylinders with an array modifier for the steps in the ladder and apparently the most difficult part of the scene was then done. Then I placed the camera at the right angle and I was finally done with the basic modeling part as well. Now it was time to get the lighting right. So I just downloaded a sunny looking HDRI from Polyhaven and set it up before I went on with the textures and materials. The ladder and the steps were just scratchy chrome material that I already had saved in my asset browser. It's just a principal BSDF material with the metallic set at one and a scratchy texture plugged into the roughness, nothing complicated. Then a little bit of texture hunting on ambientcg.com and I found some nice tile textures for all the pavement blocks in the scene. I'm rushing through this part, but this was literally just plugging the right textures in the right slot of the principal PSTF node. Nothing out of the box there. Then I put a colored concrete material on the walls behind that I'd saved in my asset browser again. I usually concrete textures are primarily black and white, so using the hue saturation node will not help you to change their color. And I wanted to make the walls red just like in the illustration. So to do that, just use an RGB curves node linked to the main texture node and just fiddle with the curves till you get the desired color. Now it was time for the pool water material, which I thought would be a challenging task if I had to figure it all by myself, but thanks again to the awesome Blender community on YouTube, I didn't have to. I found this amazing video by a channel called Blender for Aquis on how to make perfect pool water. Just watch that video, just watch it. Click away from this video right now and go watch that if you want to learn how to make awesome looking pool water. Go cool. Now, link is in the description. Okay, once I had the pool water down, I filled with the HDRI Z axis parameter to try different lighting angles till I got something nice looking and the scene was looking good at that point. Not bad. Now in a simple scene like this, one would think that I would design the plants that I needed in the background of the scene myself, right? <laughs> no, 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 that was never gonna happen. Even if I spent hours trying to make a plant myself, there will always be a better alternative available on the internet. Same goes for couches, trees and cars in my opinion. So I never had the intention of making them from scratch. I just downloaded two plants from BlendSwap and just placed them at the right place. Next, I added some trees off camera to get some nice dynamic shadows on the walls at the back. I added some leaves in the pool water for extra detail. Did some simple compositing and finally, it was time to render the scene out. Once it was done rendering, I dropped the image into Chimp and pushed some sliders here and there till I got a good looking post-processed image and the scene was finally done. Here you go, this is how the final render came out. It took approximately 3 hours to design the whole thing and render it out and I think it ended up looking really good. It was a simple scene overall and I had a blast making it, unlike most scenes where you feel like ripping your hair out after a while. I think it's nice to just sit down sometimes and make something simple for a change, 
and not kill yourself trying to make something complex just for the sake of it. But yeah, this is it. This is the final render. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What you liked, what you didn't like. Any kind of feedback you might have for me or for the overall channel, just let me know. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching if you did. And I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video. See you there. Bye-bye.